Hey everyone, this is Mel, aka Nostalgia Aspie, with a very long overdue VHS update. I have, as you can see, a lot of VHS tapes here. They're all in individual groups because they came from different places, and I want to tell where I got them all. Not only so you guys know, but also so I won't forget someday. Not that I ever will, but you never know. I mean, someday when I'm 80, I might forget, so. So let's see. These ones, well, most of them, are all actually from our own VHS collection that we've had in a box in the basement or garage for years. Although over the past year they've been in several different basements and garages because we've moved a lot. So this one is a homeschool children's program at Eden Heights 1994-1995. Eden Heights was a nursing home that my dad worked at and pastored at for a while. So this, this is a home video, kind of. I mean, it was taken in our hometown, not in our house, but it was taken in our, in our hometown. So, yeah, I remember going to Eden Heights, like, not every Sunday, but a lot of Sundays. We kids took turns going with Dad in the afternoon when he preached there. And afterward, we'd always walk around and visit people. There was especially this one cat, this cat named Dale. He was kind of like Oliver that we have now. He was a big orange cat, very friendly, loved people. I don't know if he's still alive, but it's only been like eight years since we left Olean, so he might be. So this next one, Dedications 1992. I believe this one, now this was before I was born. I was born in 1993. So I think this is that one tape that we actually watched last year no, two years ago, almost. We watched it, and it was showing a bunch of work the people from our old church, the very first church I ever went to, they were doing a, a bunch of work around that church. So, yeah, and we lived there. We lived next to it at that time. We moved to that, the house, the big brick house that I spent my childhood in, we moved there when I was two. So, let's see. This is a Mary Kate and Ashley video. I've never watched it. It's called Hawaiian Beach Party. As you can see, it's not very long. Yeah, I'll have to get around to watching these. These two, I've already watched. They're very good. They're awesome. This one, I haven't. So I'll have to get around to watching that. Now this one looks like it might be another home video. Cowboy Baptist Groundbreaking. Oh, this was the video I was talking about before. So that's not the one of the guys doing work around the church. This one is. So I have to wonder what the one in the silver is. I, ha I have no idea. So this next one is a movie. It's called Caddy Woodlawn. I actually recently got the book. It's the very first one in there. Yeah, I haven't watched this, but I've read the book. And it's very good, from what I can remember. I need to reread it soon. So I haven't seen this, but I kept it because I need to watch it. I have a TV right here that has a built-in VCR and it works. All I have to do is plug the TV in, put a videotape in, and I can watch VHS on it right in my room, so that's really cool. Alright, this next one is called The Story Lady, Disney, Disney Christmas on Ice, Sarah Plain and Tall. You know, that's really coincidental because one of the other VHSs I have is Sarah Play and Tall. Okay, so there's three separate segments because they're separated by semicolons. I kept this one obviously because I'm a big Disney fan and it says Disney Christmas on Ice. I have watched part of this one, not all of it though. So this one is Heidi, which I also have not watched. Actually, if it's the Shirley Temple version, I have seen that one. But I'm not sure. That's all it says. Heidi distributed by feature films for families. No other information. So I don't know if this is the Shirley Temple version or if there's another version. I'm sure there are a lot of versions, though. This tape is one of those tapes that you put little video camera cassettes in. So you can watch your own home videos. Unfortunately, you can see there's a tape in here. But unfortunately... 
it's broken. It's, uh, it's stuck somehow up there, and the tape part will not come open. So I think it's stuck in there forever, unless we were to break this adapter apart. Which I'm not really sure I want to do, because this is the adapter I believe we used in my childhood when we could watch those videos. So, I have no idea. I don't know what this red thing's for. But, that's an adapter. Alright, this one is not from my childhood. This is something... I haven't watched it yet, but this is something an old friend of mine in Minnesota gave me. Well, I mean, I thought he was my friend, but that's another story. I was at his house one time, and I saw this, and I really liked the story of a Christmas carol, so I said, hey, can I borrow this? And he said, sure, go ahead. And I took it home. I never got around to watching it. I don't think it's even a movie. I think it's actually a taped play. That's kind of implied by all the text on the back. So I'm, I'm not quite sure. I'll have to watch these. As you can see, I have a lot of VHS tapes to watch. So I never got around to watching it, and when we were about to move in the next few months, when we moved away from Minnesota, I asked him, hey, I never watched that Christmas Carol tape you lent me. Do you want it back? And he said, oh, no, you can keep that. So I kept it, and I haven't watched it yet. I can watch it, because I have that, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. When you're like me, it's very, very difficult to break out of your daily routine. That's what I have trouble with. So, this next tape is Anne of Avonlea. It's got two tapes inside it. I bought this from the library back in Austin. I haven't watched it yet. I thought it would cost me like two or three dollars, maybe even four, but the lady at the desk just looked at it and she said one dollar. So I was kind of shocked. So I got this for a dollar. I have the original Anne of Green Gables on DVD. I got it in 2006 as a gift. And I think I've read the book, Anne of Avonlea, I think, but I haven't seen the movie. Unless this is the same thing as Anne of Green Gables, the sequel, which I doubt, but I have seen the sequel. So I don't think I've seen this. I need to watch it. So these next two tapes are So Play and Tall and the sequel Skylark. A friend of mine, a friend of mine here where I live now, bought these at a thrift store for 50 cents and she decided to give them to me. I haven't watched them yet. I've barely watched any of these movies at all, but I have them. And so if I ever get bored and if something happens to my laptop, which I doubt it will, but you never know, if I ever get bored and want to watch the VHS tapes, or if I just want to get all these tapes watched, then I can just watch all these tapes. So. After she gave me these, I checked out the book from the library, the book and I believe it's sequel to, if the sequel is in book form. I think it is. It wasn't the most spectacular, wonderful book I'd ever read. It wasn't really one of my favorites, but maybe I'll like the movie better. Alright, so these. These are three Disney movies. An extremely goofy movie, Mickey's Magical Christmas. I've watched this since buying it and Fantasia. I've seen all these movies. I haven't watched these VHS tapes except for this one. I watched this around Christmas time last year and it worked perfectly. So I bought these at the thrift store, the same thrift store that my friend bought these two at. I bought these at. 50 cents a piece, I believe. Really, really cheap and they have lots and lots of great Disney movies there. So I should get around to watching these sometime even though I've already seen them. Just, you know, to make sure they work. And if they don't, the thrift store is not responsible. Now, these I got just today. You see, I've started volunteering at the, lo the local library that we go to, and my job is to sort through things like books, mostly books, but also DVDs and CDs and occasionally VHS tapes. And my supervisor told me that I can keep any of the materials I want as long as I keep it under 100 per day. Which I think is awesome because there's a lot of great stuff in there. Under my bed, if you can, I don't think you can see the plastic bag under there, but there is one. 
In that plastic bag, there are three really, really old books. One is dated 1895. It's called the Werner Primer. It's a kid's school book. It's even got a little inscription inside, dated 1897. So, so yeah, I there was a box of VHS tapes there, and actually, I got three other VHS tapes that I totally forgot about until now, but I can bring them out. They were from the same box, except I got them on different days because otherwise my load of books and other stuff would have been too big and I would have just felt awkward carrying it. So I got, I picked up these today. This one is sealed. It's completely unopened. I don't know if I should open it. I think that would uh, degrade the value somehow. But I did only pick it up so I could watch it. I haven't seen this movie for a long time. I used to watch it all the time when I was a younger teen. Never as a kid, unfortunately, but as a younger teen. So I think if I ever do want to watch this, I'll probably open it. I don't really care about the value, I just care about the value it has to me. And that value lies in the content, not the condition. So, here's Bambi. This one is opened. Um, Someone was not kind, so I'll have to rewind it myself. I don't know if this one is rewound. Actually, you know, since it's sealed, it probably is rewound. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Otherwise, Disney will get a letter from me. Alright, so, let me show you the other VHS tapes that I got the other day. I work on Wednesdays and Fridays. Today is Friday. So these I picked up on Wednesday. This is a bunch... I haven't watched it yet. I haven't watched any of these yet. Although I've, I've watched the episodes on this tape. Apparently this is a bunch of clips from old Mickey Mouse cartoons. Not full cartoons, but still clips. And uh, it's 27 minutes long. It's got some really nice art on it. So, while it's not exactly Walt Disney Treasures, I still think it's pretty cool, and it's a VHS tape, which is practically an antique these days. So, I'm just going to keep it anyway. This one. Oh, this one. I was really surprised to see. DuckTales, Raiders of the Lost Harp. It also includes the Pearl of Wisdom, as you can see. So it's only got two episodes on it, and I've seen those episodes, and I have those episodes on DVD, because I have all the DuckTales DVDs that are available from Disney. But it's still really cool to have this VHS tape. I think it's just a good collector's item. <coughs> so, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen DuckTales in VHS quality before, except for maybe the old episodes I used to watch on YouTube, which have since been taken down because Disney is a copyright bully. So, this one is The Secret Garden, based on the book by Frances Hodgson Burnett. It's a great book. If you haven't read The Secret Garden, go read it. It's a great book. This one, I believe, is the 1975, I think, version. I thought it was the 1990-something, maybe 93 version at first. But then I found out it was the 1975 version. I was kind of disappointed, but, you know, since I paid absolutely nothing for these five VHS tapes right here, I think I might as well keep it. Because they're probably, they're either going to give it away or throw it away anyway, so I might as well just keep them. I should watch this again. I think I watched it on Netflix sometime within the past year. And I didn't like it quite as much as I liked the 1990s version, but it was okay for what it is. So, those are all my recent VHS tapes, and I think there are a few more that I haven't shown you guys, but I'll save those for another video, because this one is almost 15 minutes long anyway. So, this is Nostalgia SB, signing off.